Hey folks, well welcome back to part 3 of the uh, the true oil stock finish. As you saw in part 2, we, uh, we got the first coat on. What we're going to do today is we're going to knock down any runs or anything we see. We're going to put on another coat and we're actually going to sand into this a little bit to uh, pick up a little bit of the staining color and we're going to do a, a grain fill. Once we get that slurry um, kind of taken out, we're going to force it sideways into the wood and uh, that'll smooth everything out and make everything look real good. We also, I don't know if you really can tell, but we have a run here that we need to uh, get taken off. I think you can see that on the cam. And that's really it, a little run right here. But those are okay. I mean, that's, that's something I don't mind having right now because I want to show you guys how to deal with it anyway. Again, not a big deal. You just knock it down between coats. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, just like part two, we're going to get our true oil in the secondary container. And again, we're not going to need very much. You can always go back and add if you need to. but So now what we're going to do a little bit different today than yesterday is yesterday we basically just tried to get a coat over the whole gun or the whole stock I should say. Today I'm going to do probably a, a 3 by 3 area and I want it to be somewhat thick. Uh, thicker than I was working on yesterday for sure. I already have some 220 grit sandpaper. And what we're going to do once we have that relatively thick, we're just going to work that sandpaper around into that. You don't want to burn through the finish or your your old true oil too much you just basically want a slurry to form where you're working on it so this is uh it takes some feel you know and some practice can, if you make a mistake you know you can always go back and restain if you had to uh, but we, we're definitely not trying to do that if we don't have to So we're not through yet. And you can feel it start trying to resist a little bit. When you feel that, just add a little bit more oil. Keep working on it until you get down into that. That's stained just a little bit. And you can kind of see how it's thickening up and you have like a slurry build up there. At that point you just want to work it across the grain, work everything into that grain. You're trying to really seal up the stock is really what you're trying to do. So once you have that worked in, just take one of the patches and clean that area off. <laughs> you see we have some marks there. So you just want to clean everything out a little bit. And that's basically you've knocked it down to a satiny kind of finish. But once we get through the whole stock, we'll go back and we'll put a new coat on it. It'll be good as new. Okay, well now you can see that we got pretty much the whole stock knocked down. Uh, we worked that slurry into the grain. Um, you know, it's looking pretty uniform now. So now we're probably at the point where we can go ahead and uh, start putting on coats and go for coverage at this point. So... You know, I've already laid out a little bit more true oil. <laughs> so, what you can see from the mat, from where you sanded it down, as soon as you put that true oil back on there, 
it brings that luster right back. So you nothing to really worry about there. Again, at this point, I'm starting to try and make nice clean coats. This is really in actuality the third coat. The first coat was for coverage. Uh, the second coat was for grain filling and smoothing. And now I hope you guys can see how it uh, it actually makes the grain kind of pop a little bit when you do that. When the grain kind of stands out a little bit from the rest of the stock. And at this point we're just going to get a nice coat on there. And now from here on out if we have a run we're going to come back and be a little bit less aggressive. Uh, we'll use like a steel wool, like a triple out steel wool to kind of knock down any runs or any, any problems we have. Just kind of try and get everything nice and smooth. And then she'll start coming together real quickly from here. You know, at this point now, we're just to, to where we want to build up the coat, build up the finish so it's durable, it'll protect your wood. It'll be easy going, so probably what I'll do is I'll end up uh, just taking a quick video of each coat that I put on until I decide to stop. It'll probably be 10 coats is what I usually do. You know, some guys do 20, 50, whatever, but 10 coats seems to be the right amount for me to have a somewhat normal looking stock. And we'll let this tack up like we did the last time and I'll I'll give you guys a quick peek at it.